So we're going to talk about native booking, the upcoming big feature from the e-commerce group in Duda. And we are going to do booking with all the good that Duda offers you today. This is going to be a native feature in Duda, the technology, the product, the UX, and the support, all made by Duda, which will allow you to achieve design flexibility. And we will see this in the demo. We will support free and paid booking. I think I saw this question come up uh, in the chat. So for you to know, we will support taking payments for appointments. And I think one of the most interesting points is a full support for all the Duda workflows. Think of working with templates, with sections, with client management, APIs, all the wonderful things that you can do with AI and that we saw in the demo today. Think of booking becoming a natural part out of these. And we will going to have the first version available for you guys around September this year. So let's switch for a sneak peek into how it's actually going to work. So you can see here, this is my Duda editor, and this is a pretty straightforward website uh, with a contact form to book the free assessment. So this is something a lot of um, SMBs do. You know, they have this way to generate lead and to create a first free assessment, but let's replace the contact form with a booking widget. So we just click booking, it will add the booking widget to the website. And for now, it's just a placeholder. So let's also install booking in the website. And in the background, this will create the first uh, appointment type and the first user that can be booked time with. And you can see that already the widget takes the design of the website. So let's go to the back office and start managing the configuration. We have this uh, placeholder staff member, a person that people can book time with. And you can see that each one of them has their own availability. They can set, let's say they don't work Wednesday or they end up early, so they can configure this. And here we can see the connecting to clients. You want to make sure that your clients, the people who work for this business, can log in, can access, and can see their appointments, and of course, do all the configurations. So this offers you a very easy way to connect them and will give them the relevant permissions in the background. So let's save that and go to see how we manage the appointment types. So the first one, we wanted to do a free assessment that the business offers potential clients. So let's change the name. Well, let's keep it 30 minutes duration. And the location, you can see we support many different types of locations, which location can be, you know, a video call, think of professional services like lawyers and others. But in this case, probably uh, these cleaning services needs to go to the place of the customer. So we'll change it to custom attendee location. As I mentioned, we will allow to charge for appointments. I will not be able to show this today, but you can already see how it's going to look like. And let's save this and go back to the editor to see it live. So looking in the widget, I mentioned before it's getting the design uh, team of the website, but if for any reason I'm not happy with that, I can always switch to like a basic, more neutral design. But in this case, let's keep with the 21 and let's publish the website and we'll go to see it live. So we are now on the home page on the live site. We can see the booking widget. We can choose a time, add the details. And create a booking and we will see a confirmation screen. And this uh, data will be also sent via email to the business, to the relevant person in the back office and to the person, to the customer, the attendee, the person who set up the meeting, including the options to reschedule or cancel the meeting. Let's head back to the back office and see some other configurations that we can have. So let's first, we can see that we have the appointment here already, and this is a part of the back office. 
let's create another type of appointment, which is now it's going to be the actual service, the cleaning. And let's give this like a longer time, something like three hours. And we create that. Again, the location would be the attendee location. And let's look into some of the scheduling options that we have. So assuming this is like a big operation, you usually need to drive there and drive back. So let's give this uh, person a bit of a buffer, meaning that they need to have 60 minutes free time before and 45 minutes when they come back. And let's say that no one can schedule this like in a two hours notice because the business you know, needs to get ready for that. And you can see how many more features we have here to manage uh, how this will be scheduled. Let's save this. Let's go and add this in the relevant place in the website. We already have the deep cleaning page. Again, here we have an old contact form and we will remove it and add a booking form and actually remove the entire column here. We also less of a need now of the contact details because people can just book time with this business. So let's now add another booking widget. It will add it automatically to the canvas. And now we just need to select which type of appointment will be offered here. So let's go content, deep cleaning. Let's see it change and update with all the parameters and we can publish it. But before we head to the live site to check, let's see another nice thing we have here. Let's say the business wants to know, okay, whether this is like an office or a house, they need to uh, use this in order to know how to get themselves prepared. So let's add a question here. Make it a select, call it location type, same label. And this can be a home an office, and let's make it a required question. And let's add another very interesting feature, which is requires confirmation. This means that the appointment is created as a pending one, and then the business needs to approve it. For these kind of services, this is very obvious. And again, if you wanted to charge, we would go here and do that. So let's head back to the website. Let's go to the deep cleaning page. And we can see the booking widget here. And let's just select the time. And we can see we have this um, question here that we added, which is mandatory. So last thing we want to show, let's go back to the site overview. And the reason I'm showing that is because just to remind you that with Duda's very strong permission mechanism, you will be able as agencies, as uh, partners to give clients access, for example, only to the booking section and not to the website editor. Uh, if you don't want them to change the design, you want them just to go in here, especially, you know, think of you have a clinic or a barber shop with multiple users, they don't need to go into the website. And when they go here, they can do a very interesting thing, like connect their personal calendars. Let's say they want to all their meetings to appear in the Google Calendar, and they also want to make sure that if they have a wedding or something, and they block some time in the Google Calendar, they don't get new appointments on that time. So you can see we can do the connection, and here the booking will know to check for conflicts and also to add all the events to this calendar so you can see them from the phone, share them, etc. So that's it for the demo. Back to you, Itai. Thank you, Jonathan. Very, very cool. Uh, and I saw like there were questions here that were answered by the team. People were asking about integration of external calendars and we will be supporting Outlook, Google Calendar and uh, Apple. Correct. Um, Jonathan, when should people expect this to be available? And so around September this year. Okay, that's great. And uh, what will be the pricing of it? 
So this will become part of our e-commerce plan, starting with $7 a month billed annually for a single team member, like we saw in the back office, and with more team members and more capabilities in the higher plans coming soon after the release. Okay. Last question to you. Uh, how do you compare this to Calendly? I know a lot of comments there said, oh, I'm giving up Calendly or... How, where, where do the tools differ? Obviously, Calendly has been building their uh, capabilities for a very long while. Indeed, it's a good question. And I think we can point to three uh, major benefits. First, I think the first thing we saw, how the widget is compatible with the site. It doesn't look like something that's not related to the site, an external software. Everything is on brand. So that's one thing. Also, thing called Web Vitals and loading time. Everything comes from Duda, not from an external software. The second thing has to do with all the workflows we mentioned. Think of working with templates, working with API integration. Think of creating a custom template with appointment types to a vertical that you use to work with. Okay? And that can speed up the site creation and then think of even further when we soon connect it with all the things Amir showed with the AI cap capabilities, how we can scale up agencies and partners operation. And the last thing, and I think this is one of the major lessons that we saw from the uh, native e-commerce that led us to the decision to develop to the booking, is how easy it for SMBs and for the agencies to support them when they work inside one product with the unified UX. You don't need to tell your customers, yeah, this is on this login of like my editor, but yeah, to configure the appointments, go to the currently login. Everything is in one place. Reduce setup time, reduce support tickets, and have a better life with booking. That's yeah, that's going to be super valuable. Thank you, Jonathan. Great demo. Uh, really appreciate you showing us this. Okay, Anton, let's uh, have the slides back. Uh, I know we are a little bit over time. I think in, uh, we just need about two minutes to wrap this up. I did want to mention that all the features that we release in the past and everything new that all the innovation that is coming out of Duda is always published on our product updates page. So go there, make yourself acquainted with that page if you haven't so. There's a lot of good material that uh, is posted there. Awesome, so I feel like this is a, a wrap for, for today. You know, From discovery to delivery, the agency of tomorrow needs to think about new tools, new thinking, having the right partner in place. And hopefully uh, you choose Duda when that partner comes to mind. We're here to make sure that you have, we're not just building amazing software, but we're making sure that you're enabled, uh, not just for today, but for the future to come. So come talk to us, uh, play around with the software that we just demoed and let us know how we are doing. Uh, and thank you everybody for attending. Uh, it's going to be uh, an awesome year. As you can see, we've leveraged AI in every way and shape possible. And there's still so much more that we want to build and release. So thank you everyone and have a good day.